Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the first part of October, actually for October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. To all the new people, to all the returning people, welcome back and thank you. Uh, thank you to everybody for all the support that you give the channel, whether it's subscribing, donating, um, liking, sharing, all that great stuff. Thank you so much for all the support and being a part of growing the channel really does mean a lot to me. So thank you, thank you. And please check the description box below for any and all information you need. Tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Okay, so this is a love connection reading for October for Virgo. I hope everybody's doing well. Going into the fall season. Happy early Halloween. Um, so do please keep in mind, if you read the description box below, uh, on how to understand the tarot may or may not resonate with you this time. So please hold out for the next reading. Um, not every reading will resonate with every person, so please do keep that in mind. Um, energy is, you know, fluid. It can change, shift every minute, every second of every day. Um, you can interchange the energies whenever you see um, fit, you know, interchange, flip-flop the energy. Okay. Only take what resonates and throw away the rest. All right. So, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. All right. So, this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign element planet. What may some Virgos be dealing with? October. Love connection reading spirit, please. If you don't resonate with what comes out in this part, that's totally fine. It's a little extra bonus. Let's see what we get here for Virgo for October. Thank you. Aries. So some Virgos could be dealing with an Aries. And if not, like I said, totally, totally fine. So we have earth and fire here. Aries is one. Ones are all about new beginnings. And Aries uh, is the emperor in the tarot, which is, you know, a ruler, a boss, someone in charge and control. So I don't know if that means anything. So somebody could be taking charge, taking control of their life, of this connection, in some way, hopefully somebody's not overbearing or over controlling a situation. I don't know. We'll see what we get here. Different messages there for different people. Virgo, your six. Sixes are about balance, healing, uh, moving forward. All right. So, Virgo, let's get an overall love connection energy between you and your person. This can be any type of connection that you have with somebody has to be somewhat of a mutual connection. Um, so whoever you feel you have some sort of connection with or are in connection with and whoever you have in mind. So nothing specific. You don't have to be married. You don't have to be anything. You can be dating, married, married, separated, dating, separated, um, just crushing on each other, uh, whatever here, just friends that want more. I don't know. Whatever your situation is here. Uh, hopefully something will resonate for you. Not all of it. All of it may not. So please do keep that in mind. Reading for a lot of Virgos. So it can be a lot of mixed energy. It's not a personal reading. Alrighty. Virgo. Let's get a love connection energy spirit. Please for Virgo in their person. I just want one. I'll take this one. All right, so we have, look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. And we have 11 there, and then 11 equals 2, which is about unity. So, I don't know. Look, look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. So, I don't know. We'll see what that's about. Somebody needs to... Uh, recognize their inner emperor or empress that they do have inner strength for some reason we'll see how that plays out into your reading all right so these two fell out one for you one for your person i'll put you on this side them on this side if you feel like the roles are reversed please do that at any time you know flip flop the energies so if you feel like this is you that's them then take it that way all right so on this side here i'll say that's you we have Practice compassion, see things from a different perspective, which is 15, again, is six, and you, Virgo, are six, and this card is six, again, with balance, um, healing, moving forward. So needing to practice some sort of compassion, uh, seeing things from a different perspective. So this is how you're feeling about your person, 
and the connection or it's them but I'm gonna say for now this is you do please flip-flop however you see so maybe there's something you're needing to see from a different perspective and you need to practice compassion towards this person it's either you're in the process of doing that or this is telling you that uh, this is something that you may need to do so let's see what your person has they have received with love and appreciations receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love and we have 34 which is seven seven is a very spiritual divine number so I feel like they do want to receive you with love and appreciation and they want you yeah they want you to receive them with love and appreciation and they want you to uh, receive them lovingly with compassion and I think that's it's like it could be both energies like you both need to re receive each other with love and appreciation and compassion see things from a different perspective um, looking to your inner strength maybe there's something you both need to overcome and maybe this is a strong it could be a strong loving bond which can overcome if you're having difficulty right now just taking charge control of that situation if you're not dealing with an Aries Virgo does represent the hermit in tarot which is about doing inner journey work reflection spiritual growth inner growth looking for your answers from within so I don't know why I'm shuffling just to do the bottom of the deck here so let's see what's on the top we have act as if your partner is here whether you have someone in your life or not act as if they are with you so you always consider them 73 which is 10 which is about endings but then there's no beginning so act as if they are with you so you always consider them so I think maybe you really need to um, consider each other's energy on the bottom of the deck we do have spiritual connection this relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime 27 which is 9 which is about almost at the end of a completion and then a new beginning so this could be like I said a very spiritual strong bond and maybe you're just going through a rough patch but there's a need here just to like take charge overcome it look to the strength of this connection look at things from a different perspective love and appreciate and show compassion towards one another and always consider each other's feelings all right so let's see let's see virgo let's clarify with the tarot let's clarify with the tarot for virgo spirit please I ask that you please spirit put all the cards in order for Virgo to give them the most accurate love connection reading and the messages they need to hear for October spirit please thank you so much all the decks have been pre shuffle cut meditated on off camera more shuffling on camera so please be patient with the shuffling all right so let's get clarification here with the tarot for Virgo why is practice compassion here for Virgo why do they have practice compassion one for you one for your person a few extra clarifiers all right so for you with practice compassion we have the seven of Pentacles earth energy that's your energy Virgo Taurus Capricorn then we have the six of cups which is water energy doesn't have to be I'll mention the signs don't get too confused um, it's just the sign so don't take it all literally so we have the six of cups cancer scorpio pisces so six and seven so that's progression so seven of pentacles energy here coming out over here with seeing things from a different perspective seven of pentacles is uh planting you've planted the seeds and you're waiting for all your all, all your harvest to prosper so it's a patiently waiting assessing analyzing so there's something here where you've you know being patient in this whole situation waiting uh analyzing assessing the situation seeing things from the different perspective as you know you're kind of you know waiting and having patience so then you have the six of cups energy also connected to you so six of cups does speak about um soulmate energy here 
could be someone from your past connecting with someone you've known for a very long time, but it doesn't have to be, possibly childhood, um, your first job, or your, where, who you went to school, college with. This is uh, even past lives with. That's the Six of Cups energy. So however that resonates for you, if it's someone you've known either or been with, maybe just for a very long time, like I said, I've known them since childhood. It's thinking back, nostalgia, memories of the past. So you could be thinking, reflecting on this whole situation, thinking of all the good times, thinking of the past uh, and the situation, starting to see things with different perspective and maybe starting to have compassion now in this whole situation. So your person has received with love and appreciation and they have the eight of pentacles. Wow, so you have the seven and they have the eight. So the eight of pentacles here speaks of putting in the dedicated effort, the hard work, mastering your craft, Pentacle energy uh, is earth, and it's very uh, practical. It's stable, sturdy, grounded energy. It's building for long term. Pentacles are always long term, steady growth, um, very stable energy. So they're wanting to put in the hard work and dedicated effort. And you're kind of waiting and assessing the situation and just thinking back of everything, memories, and seeing things from a new perspective and they want you to receive them and they want to work on it with the eight of pentacles and connected to that we have the moon so cancer pisces so this is um not seeing things clearly i mean you think of the moon at night you can't really see everything clearly even with a full moon uh things can look deceptive like you see something and it's not really what it is so um the moon energy here they may not be certain on how you're feeling about this situation, what your next actions are going to be. Um, I feel like they they feel very unclear moving forward, but they do want to work on it. I mean, it can talk about secrets, but I'm not getting that energy. I'm getting the energy of they're unsure, like what you are going to do, because you're in a period here of just kind of hanging back and just kind of not really doing much, just kind of thinking things over. But they're wanting to work on it. But again, they're not sure how um, you are feeling. So let's get your actual situation. Let's have two cards flying on the floor. All right, so let's get your one more for your actual situation. All right, I'll use the ones that fell here. Oh, they are clarifiers. All right, so we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Empress. So, connecting to you for the actual situation, the Three of Pentacles. So, this is uh, energy, Earth energy again. So, this is your energy again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is working together, teamwork, collaboration, compromise, learning, growing together, building together. So, I think after you assess the situation, you think about it, you, you've had patience, you've seen your new perspective, like the Virgo Hermit, you do that inner, inner journey soul work, um, figuring things out. You will compromise, come together, work together with your person. And then connecting to them, we have the Empress energy here, which is Libra Taurus, but it doesn't have to be. So they see you as an Empress, someone who is very nurturing, caring, and giving, loving, compassionate, passionate, grounded, stable, uh, very honest, open, and truthful. Um, the Empress gives birth to new things, can be a mother, um, can be a wife. So, I mean, you could be married to this person or this person may want to marry you. As you see, this here almost looks like a ring. So maybe they really see, they really see you here as someone for long term, someone um, that they could build and grow with, be a wife. You could be their wife, mother, or emperor, you know, if you're a female. They... They definitely um, have that energy of seeing you in that Empress quality. And then connecting the two of you is the Four of Wands. Fire energy here, Leo Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. Four of Wands is about commitment, marriage, happy home and family, very stable family life, marriage, ceremonies, people coming together and being together in the same dwelling or committing together, living together sort of energy. So you could definitely be living with this person or they, they definitely have that energy of either wanting to really settle down with you in some way. 
like I said, maybe even proposing. And I think you're going to see that you really want to work on this with this person after you do your inner journey work. So let's clarify here. So we got the seven of wands for your actual situation. So this is defensive energy, fire energy, again, coming in on your side. So I don't know, you either in some way, shape or form felt like defensive against this person. Um, I don't know if something happened between the two of you and you felt like you had to stand your ground um, in some way, or you either put your foot down uh, and took your energy back because you wanted more. And they were like, why Why is she pulling her energy back? I, I don't understand with the moon energy. And then I think they get it now that you really want more in this situation. Or you're standing up for this connection. You're finally going to realize, okay, this is my person. I want to work on it. I want to move forward. This is who I really want. And you're going to stand up with the seven of wands and stand up for the situation. Stand up for the relationship. Could be either way, however it resonates for you. So on their side... We have the Ten of Swords, so that is about a painful, hurtful ending. That's air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, and with the moon, I'm feeling, I'm not feeling this is an ending of the relationship with the moon. I think they're unclear as to what is going to happen. I think they're thinking, is this the end? Is this over? Um, or what? I, I just don't know with the moon energy. I just don't know what's going on. You know, are we over or are we moving on together? So I feel like you, with the Seven of Wands, you probably just need to stand up to this person and uh, take a stance to say, look, okay, this is what I feel. This is what I want moving forward. You know, let's do this. Let's work together. Let's build together. Let's commit. Let's move in. Let's get married. Whatever here. I definitely feel that energy here. Uh, I am feeling it's a very strong connection here. And with the spiritual connection, it definitely could be a soulmate connection. So let's see... What is your advice, Virgo, in this situation? What is your advice? So we have the Four of Pentacles. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. <laughs> this is all your energy. Pentacles, eyes, earth, your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Your energy, the Four of Pentacles, is about holding on to something and not letting go. And the Ten of Pentacles is about two people coming together. It's usually the marriage card. Uh, or living together, sharing everything together, living together, success, abundance, happy home and family, stability. So four, not letting go of the pen, four of pentacles. So your advice is not to let this person go because this is your ten of pentacles person. They will give you abundance, security, stability, happy home and family life, building long-term, long-term partner here. So your advice is not to let this person go. This is your long-term stable partner. All right. Past Six of Cups is a soulmate energy. Possibly could even have uh, past lives with this person. So if you're unclear as what to do, um, this, I believe, if you're wondering, uh, doing that inner journey work, is this my person? I just don't know. This is telling you act as if your partner is here. This is your long-term partner. So let's get more clarity. So we got the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. <laughs> Two Sixes. Wow. Virgo. Okay. Six of Swords. Air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then we have Six of Pentacles. Your energy again. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Two Sixes here of balance. Six of Pentacles is a very balanced energy to me. Some take people take it as like, just getting breadcrumbs from somebody. But to me, the Six of Pentacles is always a very balanced, equal give and take card to me. Six of Swords here. Leaving everything in the past that you don't need. You know, knowing what you know now. Moving forward. Leaving everything else behind. Moving forward in a more positive, healing, balanced direction with the Six of Swords. Wow. So your advice is not to let this person go. Hold on to this person. They are your long-term person. And I see you having a very equal relationship and moving forward in a very healing, uh, balanced place. You know, leaving everything behind you don't need and moving forward to peace, harmony, healing energy between the two of you together. Wow. So let's see um, what your possible outcome is with this person. With this person for Virgo. The Knight of Cups energy. 
So this is taking action coming forward, whether it's you or them, very loving uh, energy um, coming forward with proposals of love, affection, loving words. It's not a king, it's just a knight, but that just could be the start moving forward. Very loving, affectionate energy. Cancer Scorpio Pisces doesn't have to be. So the outcome is either going to be you or them coming forward with loving, caring, compassionate gestures, affection. So what else? What else? Okay, so now we got the King of Pentacles. That's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's your offer. There's your offer. And that's your energy. Again, I'm getting your energy all over this. Pentacles all over the place. So, King of Pentacles, your energy, very stable, sturdy, grounded, smart, expansion, growth, abundance, uh, practical, wise, nurturing, giving, caring. Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning, building on a long-term foundation here for the future. Very stable, grounded energy. And the Pentacle there looks like, you know, like the offer. Because you have the Knight of Cups coming in with that loving gesture with this big pentacle here as the offer also. So like I said, this could lead to marriage, commitment, living together, um, or leveling up the um, relationship in some way, shape or form. Very stable, grounded energy here, long-term, building long-term. Wow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the fool. So this is taking a leap of faith, Aquarius energy, jumping right in, trusting everything will be fine, resetting at zero, having a new leap of faith with this person, just jumping right in. Page of Wands. So again, this is passionate communication back and forth. Very fiery, passionate communication. The Three of Cups. So reuniting, rejoicing, coming together, having good times. Three of Wands. Again, with the waiting here, I feel like it's, could be your energy, their energy of knowing what you want for the future, but it's sort of like assessing the situation and needing to have a period of waiting for some reason. There's a period of waiting for some reason. Here's the page of swords. So there's that open, honest, truthful communication between the two of you. The Ten of Cups. So there's your total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way with this person. The whole Ten of Cups. Total happiness and joy in fulfillment open, honest, truthful communication between the two of you after a period of waiting things out for some reason, rejoicing, coming together, having a good time, reuniting, passionate communication back and forth, and having a fresh new start and a leap of faith in this connection. All right, so let's get some extra oracles here for you, Virgo. So if you're wondering, Virgo, is this my person? Is this my soulmate? Do I want to build long term? Maybe they came to you. Maybe they did propose to you. And maybe you said yes, but now you're like unsure. <laughs> like, oh my God, should I have said yes? I don't know. And this is telling you this is your person. And I don't know why you would be having, um, having second thoughts if you were. Let's see. So we have here, listen to your body, body, which is 27, which is nine. So I think, you know, listen to your gut, your intuition, your inner knowing about this person. 72, 27, nine, which is coming true. Um, almost at a completion to um, a 10, which can be an ending or it just can be the total completion of a relationship where you're together for the long term. And now we have self-love, which is 16, which is seven divine spiritual number again so self-love you know loving yourself you can't love someone else fully until you fully love yourself so knowing your self-value your self-worth your self-love and then you can fully love somebody else in the same way if maybe you don't feel worthy of this person but you i feel you are well-being 21 three three is about uh teamwork collaboration working together so, you know, well-being, taking care of yourself, your body, your soul, um, and even this connection, the well-being of this connection. Let's see what we have on the bottom now. Flow. So this is just going with the flow. Eight, 
sorry about the glare, eight here is about action, travel, communication, just going with the flow, you know, just taking it as it comes, seeing things from every perspective. This is sort of like the hanging man energy to me. Um, just go with the flow. Don't overthink things and uh, just go with it. So we do have strength here at the top of the deck, which is 46, 10 completion. So I do feel like this is a very strong um, connection here, with the strength. I'm just going with the flow. Okay, Virgo, I see this is your person. If you're waiting for them to propose or commit or offer commitment or something, I see that coming. You need to be patient. Maybe that's why there's waiting. Or if you're doubting this connection, this person, I do see this is your forever person that you have in mind, Virgo. This didn't resonate for Virgo. You could check the description box below for past playlists. Maybe something there will resonate for you. I would say disregard the dates. If something catches your eye, watch it. Um, good luck to you here and your love connection. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And if you do like I read, please do like how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. They're all different, so don't miss out on that. So good luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, with my channel is to always, always shine your light.